What's up, guys? It's your boy, Cook J. And your girl, Yeah! yeah. This is the finale of yeah. season one. Yeah! Villain Saga is oh. here. Yeah. Wow, we are finishing an anime, <laughs> right? Yeah, it's been a while since we finished one. Yeah, it's been a while. We lagged too much, guys. <laughs> Man, how do you well, how do you like it? How did you like it? I, uh, in my honest opinion, I feel like this is a top tier anime. I really enjoyed it. I really liked the character development that they had, mm -hmm. the music, the OST. The story behind it, as well as the little history lesson that we got, mm -hmm. and just like the fighting and just the epicness, and as well as the emotions that we got from it so far. Yeah, that's true. One thing I really loved about Villain Saga is the way they directed uh, the show. Oh, yeah. uh, we there was a lot of epic scene and epic moments in the show. Uh, especially, you know, we have that one episode too. I mean, there's so many episodes, but like so Bjorn many. episode, we also had that, remember when they went to the village and it was the slaughter? Yeah. I mean, dude. All the, of it. Yeah, the way they directed this, uh, I think it, that's like a huge bonus. This is definitely an anime I would recommend. Yeah, actually, it's so funny. I actually recommended Villain Saga to somebody this morning too. Did you really? Yeah, because he was actually talking about like, hey, um, so what's the, what are good animes? It's like I was like, hey, you watch Attack on Titan? It's like, yeah, you know, I, I thought it was okay. I'm huh? like, what? what? Attack on Titan is okay? That's and my he, favorite. Yeah, and then uh, he was just like, you know, um, man, I just don't know why. Like, a lot of people whine and stuff in the anime. I'm like, oh. whine? <laughs> it's like, what? how the far? The feeling, the emotion. Yeah, and I was like, how far have you gotten into? And he was just like, I don't know. What when was the last? Because I watched it in dub. So <laughs> I was oh. like, oh. You watch it in sub, you have a different, you know, feel of the emotions or anything. And then after that, I was just like, all right, well, are you a fan of Game of Thrones? Or, you know, you, you like those kinds of like, yeah, I love those. So, all right, here, Villain Saga, you have to watch it. It's on Amazon. You will not regret it. Uh -huh. You have to watch it. And he wrote it down. And I'm going to be meeting him next week. So we'll see if he watched it. And um, let's see what his uh, thoughts and opinions are on it. Yep, exactly. Guys, yeah. thank you guys so much. This is it. We're going into the banquet. Tofu, are you ready for this banquet? I am ready. All right. Thank you guys so much for joining us. Tofu, are you ready? I'm ready. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah. One day you're going to be like, no, I'm, I'm not, not ready. ready. How many times are you going to tell me, are you ready in an episode? All right. Well, what am I going to say? Well, next time I'll say, all right, let's go. <laughs> all right. Let's just, let's just go. Bam. This is all the... Like the food and drinks, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Getting ready for the banquet. Yeah. <laughs> Trust me, guys. You don't want to be here. No. <laughs> right? Yeah. Don't worry, guys. Who's dragging their foot? Oh. Oh, that's Thorfinn. Yeah. Damn, dude. Askolas freaking messed them up so good. Yes. So quiet. Damn, the room, look at the rumors spreading, right? Yes. Yep. They're talking about Askeladd. Oh, the king and his highness prince. Ah, uh, Floki's here. Prince Canoe, all of them. Yeah. One spot. Gosh, just awkward silence, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Damn. What? What? That looked like Askeladd, right? Yeah. Oh, oh it's some other guy. Yeah, close. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh, what? Oh, come on, man. He's gonna get a beating again. Damn. I feel like they're gonna die. Oh. oh! Oh my god! Shut up. <laughs> oh, yeah. Dang! No weapons, just hands. Ah, uh, he got thrown in jail. Damn, so Thorfinn's gonna be inside here when everything happens? I guess so. Damn. This music sounding intense already. Has returned to us. <laughs> uh. Yep. Look at that smile. Oh. <laughs> oh. 
Oh, is the king putting on a show? Yeah. Whoa. This is what the Ascalon wanted? Oh, shoot. <laughs> what is your plan? Oh, man. Oh, oh however. See? Something's gonna happen to this village. I was right. Oh. Oh, that's a slap in the face for Askeladd, right? Yeah. Yep. See? Loki's looking at Askeladd's face. Dude! Oh my god. And this whole time, he thought he was he was playing under him. But the king, dude, he knows, man. Yeah. He knows, too. He's gonna let him be. What do you think? He can't. He's not gonna change. It, you know what is the thing he's gonna say? You think he's gonna listen? Oh, we're getting the story. Yeah, the the same story that he told back then. To the kids. Yeah. Ah, damn. Wow. Dude. Remember? He's the warrior of the sea. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, like a warrior. <laughs> so what he's saying is like, just like how he held on and just, uh, he kept walking. He's going to do no matter what it takes to take this step back to Iceland. Yes. Wow, that's a lot of yeah, dude. <laughs> wow. Oh, they were checking to see Askeladd's face. Yeah, his reaction. Oh, oh, the weakness. They got him. <laughs> what a <laughs> disgrace. <laughs> uh, yes, he would. But that was just a test, though. They're not hundred percent sure, right? Or no, they. Uh, I don't know. I'm sorry, it's not a test, but then they are doing it. But they saw his reaction. They're like, dude. Yes. I think we just found his weakness on yeah. top of it. Okay. Yes. Yeah. I mean, Kyle, look at his brain working. Damn. Things aren't going how he wanted. Talking to him about Vinland. This is his way of getting him to go home. He really wants to bring him back to Finland, but I mean, <clears throat> what he's saying is like, Go do what like, your father wanted to do, right? Like, yes. Wanted to go or something? Do you really think Thorkel's sorry? <laughs> Askeladd's turn. Yeah.
All right, so this episode, we just see um, Leif Erikson just come in and talk to uh, Thorfinn, trying to get him back home. Because he wants to do that uh, for Thor's, in respect or in honor of Thor's, because that's what Thor's would have wanted. Right. That's why he's doing everything that he can to get Thorfinn back home. Askeladd, he, he got caught. He got caught, yeah. As a weakness as well. Mm-hmm. Did they know that... By saying that, they wanted to see his reaction, or they said it, and then Floki was like, oh, shoot. Uh, this this guy just went pale after you said that. I think this guy has something to do with Wales. Yeah. Right? I For me, I don't know, because then they showed us that moment with Thorkel and how Thorkel re-mentioned that again, because he knew about Wells and how they got help from Wells. Right. So... There must have been some information somewhere from someone mm-hmm. that kind of told them that... About Wells? About Wells. They didn't know exactly what it was, but yeah. they know something... There. It's connected with yeah. him and the Wells. Uh-huh. And so they tried that piece, mm-hmm. and boom, they got it. Yep. Or they just it was just like fishing. They were just trying to fish for something. I think uh, it's probably like that, too. Cause, but that's crazy, because Ascala, everything was going... Like... Just his, how he planned. How he planned. But then so crazy when the king's like, however. However. <laughs> however. So Thorfinn's going to be in the cage when all of this happens. Damn. Yeah. Dude, Askeladd beat him up too too good. Askeladd and Thorkel. And Thorkel. Yeah, but I mean, he was, he was, yeah, actually, yeah, both of them beat him up too, too, too bad. Yeah. That, you know, but I don't think they're like, oh, it's all right. Thorfinn doesn't have to be here. Yeah, they, right? yeah, they don't care really they don't about care. that. Yeah, but anyways, I want to go to the last episode already. I want to see what happens now. It's Askeladd's turn. Oh, he's been given treasure too. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Throwing oh. it in his face again. Yep. Now he knows. Oh, wait, hold on. That guy just, like, almost basically gave it away. He's giving it away, but I feel like he's try- He's thinking how to be wise and smart with words and throw the king... Actually, yeah, because he now he now he now knows that the king knows about it, so now he's countering. Yeah, he's okay, countering. Yeah, that's right. Game of Shogi. That's right, it's a game of Shogi, yeah. Yeah, but he's, he's, he's got something, though. Yes. Yeah, he knows that the king knows. Oh, dude, straight up? Oh. Ah, so mm. now he's putting the king on the spot. Yes. Yeah. Saying it's worthless. Yeah. <laughs> Don't kill us. He's good at talking. <laughs> Ooh. He's going closer. God, he's so close to the king. Mm, look at him. Oh, Wells or Knut, choose one. Oh. Whoa. Wait, wait, but. Oh, oh my slaves. god. He oh, got oh, it. oh, look at his face. Oh my god. Oh, did you see Checkmate. the drawing of freaking Askeladd? Yes. Wow. Freak me out. Wait, he, this guy came out. He's gonna go with him? Wait. Is he really? Why'd he do that to the bird? 
What do you mean, do what to the bird? Like he wanted to catch it. I don't know. Don't. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. know. He's so confusing right now. Oh, uh, he's not gonna go with him. Oh, uh, he changed his mind last minute. Uh, yeah. Wait, but that guy's out of the cage now, though. Yeah. Oh! Oh! Oh, shoot. Oh my god, everyone can hear this. Oh, oh shoot, yeah, everyone god. can hear this. He's getting ready to fight! Oh, get ready! Get oh ready, everyone! God. Oh my god! He just installed the king! Yeah, of crazy. course! This is it! It's happening now! Oh, look at him sweat. Oh. Oh my gosh! Dorkel, it's time! Oh! oh. <laughs> Dorkel! Mm. Oh. You came too close to him. Yup. My last warning? What is he gonna do? Artorius! Uh, Artorius! Yeah! What? Oh my god, it's happened. Oh. Oh! Oh! Yeah. Ah! oh my god. That was so fast! Yeah! Dude, you just did that in front of oh everybody! Oh my god, dude! He's gonna go Just to... like this! Right away! Ascalot is done! No, dude! Engage oh. right now! It's time to fight! Wait! Wait! He's Wait. turning against Ascalot! What? Yeah! he Canute did not want this! Oh my god. Is Thorfinn even gonna get in there in time? Oh. Look at Oscola's face. Oh, oh my god. god. This is a massacre. He's calling himself the king. Yeah, because remember, that's like he's destined to rule because his name is Lucius Artorius. Everybody's trying to escape. Oh my god. Nobody can get him. No, oh. hold on. This is all part of the plan. Oh yeah, he's acting like it because you know he's he got both. Yeah. So Canute knew what happened. <laughs> wow. He's stronger than Floki! Yeah! Oh, is he gonna... Wait. Oh, no. <gasps> oh, he's dead. Oh, oh my god, Canute. Canute yeah. took it. No, it, it wasn't even deep. No. This guy just took his kill. He ks him. For the prince to take it so he can be the king. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god. This is all an act. Yep. Saying run away. He's, he's dead? Doing. He's dead already? This is the last thing he sees.
説は噂。この政体は、そうやつが突如乱心し、暴兵化殺害という大罪を犯したからだ。わあ。おお。やめろ。そうやつは殺すな。下がれ。そうやつの処分は私がする。Oh my god, he got him in the face. Thorkel? No, Canute. Oh, yeah, Commander King. The king of it, yeah. I'm sorry. I, I thought you, you were inspiring him and then making Thorkel be the leader. Oh, yeah. No. But he's the leader of Jom's Viking. Yeah. yeah. Duh, yeah. They're still holding him back. I think it's time Thorkel knows why. Oh, wow. Look at this. Everything, the memories. Showing how they created this, I think. Is it? No. Who's that guy? That's not Thor's. Look, I was like really confused with, like the Oscala part, cause, like, was it he planned it, like. He knew he was gonna die. He planned this last minute, last second, because you saw how his brain was just working in the last yeah. episode, just pumping and pumping, and then boom, the king just straight up told him as he hugged him, "Either you you choose Wells or Knut." Right. He's not gonna serve the king, and he loves he he's fighting for Knut because he believes in Knut. He didn't go this far just to go back and serve the king, so he chose both. Last second, even though that it meant taking his life. So he chose like when the king said, "Wait, this was so it was all last minute." Right? Yeah, it was all last second. But like, cause what I was confused was like the Knut was like, "Oh, go kill him," too. So it's like, okay, he's trying to. Cause remember, remember when Askeladd was kneeling down. And Knut was like, "What are you doing?" Thinking in his head, and Askeladd said, "Sorry, but I, you know, Wells. That you know, I will protect Wells." But then the king, after that, came up to him and said, "Choose Wells or Knut." Right. And he's fighting for both. So from there, it was just like it I turned mean, like crazy. it was all an act. Yeah, it was all an act, but yeah. it was all confusing because it was all last minute, last everything second. Everything was just last like minute. Improv. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah, improv did. They everything was improv, and then the. The prince, right away, he figured it out. Yes. And that's why he's, he figured out what Askeladd's, his Did. motive is in that situation. That's why he told him that so that it looked like Knut had no tie into this. Yes. So basically what Askeladd did was Askeladd saved Knut and Wells at the same time by risking his own life. Yes. It was confusing though, because I was confused at first, because he was saying, uh, "I'm King Artorius. This is my, that's my real name." So that confused me. At yeah, first. that's why I was like, "Dude, this guy's like trying to be king, king, and he's saying all these stuff." Like, wait, what? Like, he's trying to be king. He's calling himself the Lucius Artorius. Yes. So I was like, "Wait, what is this guy trying to do?" Like, wait, what the hell is going on? What? And then. And then Thorkel and Kanu explained it to us. By yeah. saying, you know, this is all an act. You must act your yeah. part. He was trying to kill. They were trying to kill the king anyway. Yes, but it wasn't supposed to be like this. Because yeah. remember, Thorkel was pissed because he said that the king was his. Yeah, so what it was is the original plan was Thorkel was supposed to get the kill. If things were supposed to happen away, but this wasn't supposed to be how it happened. Everything, like... 
Because remember, Oscar Lot was like, oh, everything's going as planned. Yeah. You know, I'm going to be able to, you know, move on forward with the countries and stuff. I, Ireland and everything. And then that's when the king just threw the hatchet in. It just was like, okay, that's when all the plans just changed. So basically, it was about who's going to risk their life for this. Yes. Right? Uh, well, like the ultimatum, well, the ultimate ultimate was that they were it was all a battle between the king and Ascalad. mainly it was a battle between king and Ascalad, right yes and they were keep trying to outsmart each other and but the king didn't realize that this guy is gonna risk his life yeah it's like the battle of shogi you know checkmate he thought maybe because you remember floki told the king oh wales is his weakness mm -hmm. so the king was seeing oh okay maybe i can use wales this guy is very smart and use him to be on my side, and then Canute is out of the picture. The whole point of him saying you sh uh, about the rabbit and the whales part. Yeah, Ascalad put on a show to make it sound like... He's just doing it for whales, but yes. then in reality it's for whales and Canute. Yes, because the king whispered that in his ear, yeah. like, choose whales or Canute. Man, okay, now I get it, okay. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Dude, because yeah, I was, was like, confusing. just so sh First off, I was so shocked from the head chopped off. Yeah. Like, <laughs> that came out of nowhere. Yeah. What the hell? It happened before Floki could give the command to kill Ascalon. Yeah, it, it just, like, it was so fast. I was like, what? Yeah. Like, dude, so, yeah, that, that, a lot of things caught me off guard on this episode. Because what I was thinking was they're just going to be a big-ass battle inside the banquet. And somehow they're going to kill the king or whatever but they're all I mean, gonna be fighting together this, but no this whole episode unexpected happened like Ascalot dying canute the one got got the kill everyone casting each other freaking Ascalot cast thorkel freaking canute cast thorfinn you know uh, what chaos is right what do you mean kill K still oh yeah kill still oh yeah because yeah, so Ascalot took out the king but Thorfell was supposed to get the king. Yeah, so they all cast each other, but... It was all for this plan. It was all for Knut to be able to become king. Basically, it is Askeladd did risk, sacrifice his life for this. Yes. This is a bigger picture. Like, Thorfinn, I understand for, for, for how long, yes. for 15 years you've been doing this, but... Don't let Askeladd die in vain. Because the thing about revenge is that what do you do after revenge? Yes. Like, what's your life after that, you know? When you've been chasing this for the entire life, what is after that? And Oscar already knew all about this uh, with Thorfinn and the way we were talking about, like, what is, you know, if Oscar dies, how is he going to teach Thorfinn to move on after this? And what we thought was that he was going to probably teach Thorfinn to protect Knut. Yes, but it wasn't. No, he's telling him to follow his dad's footsteps. Yeah, he's saying, go to Vinland. Like, meet your dad's there. Like, Become a true warrior he, like your father. Yeah, to become a true warrior. The, the fact that Askeladd said that to Thorfinn, even if Askeladd risked his life for the bigger picture for Knut and Wells, it felt, I, I felt like Askeladd had some kind of like a deeper connection with Thorfinn. With yes. the way he looked at Thorfinn was like, like I, you know, the whole mess with this is this. You, you find your peace. Like Thorfinn, as you, as Thorfinn, as the son of Thors, like you find your peace. You yes. know, it's like he separated Thorfinn from all of this. Yes, he separated it. And then we also saw a side of Thorfinn, like even though he wants to kill Askeladd so bad, he still has... That connection that, with him, Yeah, right? that connection, that that was a very, very uh, good scene with that, too. Because it's almost as, like, you know, even he, the whole point of him with Askeladd, saving Askeladd, was, of course, he wants to kill him and, you know, do the right, all of that, right? Mm -hmm. But it just seemed, the whole fact of, like, you just could see, like, there was some kind of bond and connection yes. between those two. Yes. Almost like he either, like, looked up to him or respected him because he's like you're not supposed to die like this right you know this is what you're dying you you know you can't be dying like this let's go escape. yeah let's go let's rest run away i'll heal you like let's get out of here and i'll duel you like he he really thought that his it was his destiny to kill Oscalad. right but 
Damn. No. And then right away, he went after Knut. Bam. Like his eyes and then just... Wow. And, and this is just the end of a prologue. Yes. This is just a prologue. I wasn't expecting them both to die. Exactly at this episode either. Askelon and Askelon? I didn't King. expect it. Askelon... Dude, I, what, we thought one of them was going to die. Yes, not of, both. Not both of them. Damn, the Askelot, though. Wow. We hated Wise. him when he took out Thor's. We did, but he just became smarter and wiser as the episodes kept going and kept going. He's, he risked his life for this. Yes. He sacrificed his life, and he thought right on the spot, like, damn, to go nuts, to go wild. Much respect to him. Now, does yeah. that make does that make him a true warrior? That's right. Does that make Oscar a true warrior? Yeah. Does it? Hell yeah. Because he sacrificed. He sacrificed himself, himself for the greater good, right? That's true love, right? True love. I mean, he just ended up killing twenty people though on the he, way. <laughs> yeah, he did. Yeah. Yeah, on the way. First, it was revenge on Oscala. Now it's gonna be revenge on Canute. <laughs> yes. You know, it's like, damn, this guy's revenge story doesn't stop. Who's that guy on the boat though? On the last part. I was so confused the by The red that hair piece. guy? Yeah, I, I don't know who the red hair guy is. He does not... I was thinking, oh, maybe... I said, oh, maybe this is them showing the history of how Thor's, you know, built oh. up Iceland. But no, no, that's not Thor's. I, I don't know who that is. Because Thor's does not have that hair. No, Thor, and he's his hair's bulky. red. He's buff. This guy's hair's red. No, yeah. this is just happening now or something. It's like someone's heading over to... Heading heading to Vinland or something. Heading to Vinland? Oh, I don't know. It was like, it looked like a bunch of like it looked like slaves or yeah, something. Yeah, it looked like slaves. Yeah. Going to a snowy area or leaving a snowy area. Yeah. Wow. I have yeah. I don't know. Hopefully that's not supposed to be Christopher Columbus. <laughs> Does that look like Santa Maria to you? No. no. <laughs> I don't know. I we're bad with history. I don't yeah. know. Yo, also I <laughs> so stupid. I thought it was uh, when Floki was like talking, where Prince was saying that he's the new king, oh. I said it was Thorkel. <laughs> <laughs> nah, because well, I because he said commander of army. Yeah, the commander of army. So what I thought was that Prince was just gonna say like, now I'm the king. Now mm -hmm. that I'm the king, you're not gonna be the commander anymore. Thorkel is gonna lead it. But I forgot that the Jones Viking is on his own, and the king, the king. But the thing is, the king controls the Jones Viking, right? Yes, he's the so commander. So he can actually, actually fire Floki and make Thorkel the leader of the Jones Viking. Can't yes. he? Yes. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's yeah. why. Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> I'm the new, no, the new king. Ah, Thorkel. <laughs> what a little mind twist there. Yeah, plot that's twist. a plot twist. I'm yeah. glad they left it open and they should they named this end of, of the prologue. prologue. So they're telling us that there's much more, and then they give us that little teaser of the random person in the boat. Yep. So we know that there's going to be a season two. It's just like, when? Well, uh, yeah, come on, villain saga. <laughs> they have to. Yeah, they have to. But yeah. I just I just wonder how they're going to create season two now that everything happened the way it did. Well, I mean, the intro's done, so yeah. <laughs> now we're going <laughs> into the real story, I guess. The real story. Is yeah. it going to focus on Thorfinn, or is it going to... Focus on the prince, or is it gonna focus on this random dude next? Yeah, yeah, that's true. That was Villain Saga season finale. Uh, man, this show makes you really love characters, not yes. like characters, and really love characters. You know, <laughs> you hate you hate them at first, and you grow to love them at the end. A lot of history backgrounds that yep. we learned about. Oh yeah, Vikings. Oh yeah. Slaughtering <laughs> slaves. Yeah, dude. But yeah, this was this was an amazing show. All right, guys. Thank you guys so much. Have a great day, and we'll see you soon. Yes, yeah, we'll see, we'll you, see guys you soon. soon. Bye. Bye.